as a friend, I expect you to let me know if there are pit stains on this shirt because it's very easy to see. It's not a good shirt for this. I'm already accumulating. I can. See. Is it happening? Hey! I guess we'll know when this airs. You have to tell me, and I'm not joking. <laughs> well, you should wear deodorant. I wear deodorant. Wait, who's that? <laughs> well, okay, we should. I you wear, should deodorant wear deodorant and, and, and antiperspirant. Wow, well, then you have an issue. Both then. from Whole Foods. That, that's then. You're having some, but then again, uh, it's like a dude issues. from Whole Foods, so you don't really know if it's okay. some natural stuff. Yeah, yeah. Put some eucalyptus under it's, your uh, under your armpits. It's rose hips and vanilla. Well, it's anyway, not a type of let's print, talk apparently. about what we're here to talk about today. Oh yeah, today is an episode about something that I personally absolutely hate. I, I would say everybody too. hates this. Everybody hates that. Who loves games? Games. <laughs> Ugh. Nobody Ew. likes them. Everybody does them. No. Or everybody plays them, I should say. I, I will proudly say I do not play games. <laughs> yeah, right. I will proudly yeah, say I right. do not play games, and I get fucked because I don't play games. Uh, I In a good way or a bad way? No, in a bad way. Okay. I'll, I'll, if you don't play games, let's... let's I'm going to end this podcast right now by saying if you don't play games, you're seen as a psycho person. If you don't play games, you're a psychopath? Yeah. If you don't play games, people see it. See it Like if you're direct, responsive, and you do all that stuff, people think there's something wrong with you or you're too needy. I right feel or, like I play games things. because other people play games. I don't. Th- I am not a willing participant in the games, but if, other, if the other person initiates, then so you have to play along. You're a sheep? I, I am a <laughs> That's what you're I am a sheep. Yes. <laughs> so. No. Okay. Let's talk about games a little bit. Um, give a point of view on them and what I mean. What games are? There's no better venue for games than texting. I would say, right? That's where the games begin. I think so. Yeah. And yeah. this is like you know this goes from like when you're interested in somebody to when you're actually dating and maybe you get into an argument. Because this is the main form of communication with younger people now. So it's very important. I would say when it comes to texting, there's a lot of different games people play. One of them is how they respond to you. Okay. So I know that when I am interested in somebody. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe this is just me like overthinking. It probably is. But <laughs> let's, let's hear it. <laughs> but. Um, I pay, I pay very close attention to the number of text messages that I send as compared to what the other person sends. And there's a quick way of figuring this out. How many blues, how many blues compared to how many grays or greens, (laughs) whatever it kind of, you know, if it's a, if it's an apple or if it's a droid. Okay. Just a quick cursory look at your text message history will show you who is more interested Okay. I think. So, so if you see a lot of blues, then you will purposely send shorter texts? The blues is what other people send you, right? No, that's what you send. <laughs> that's what you send. Yeah. If you see more blues than grays, you're in trouble. Because that means... You're texting more? To me, yes. You're texting more. You're texting more... Uh, what do you call it? You're, you're prolific in mm-hmm. your text messages. Maybe to the point of annoyance from the other person. Okay. Um, you don't look at that stuff? You don't pay attention to the sending and receiving? How many? You don't pay attention? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't, okay. but again, like, okay. This, let's is, going, just, this is going great. So <laughs> no, but it's good. We pay attention to different things. Um, listen, I, 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 unlike you, if the other person is playing a game and they're being not responsive, like if, if you, the way I do it, right? If you take an hour to answer me and my phone's in my hand, I will answer you right away. Yeah. If my phone. But I know some people that will look at the phone and says, well, he took an hour to answer. So I'm going to wait, uh, you know, an hour to answer. Wait at least and, an hour. And, and, and These exist. But I am the wrong person to talk about it because I don't do it. And I'm fairly open right off the bat when I start dating that I'm not into games. If I have interest in knowing someone, I'm going to let it known and i'm gonna text back whenever i have whenever when it, whenever i have the time and whenever i see the text messages and if i see that the person is constantly taking time to answer 
to me, it's they're not interested. And then I just move on. What I don't understand is if you're interested and you do that. I don't, I don't think that even exists personally. People that are interested. People who are really interested but take forever to respond. I don't think that because if you're interested in somebody, no, that you want to hear from them. But like, that exists. I have heard nightmare stories from girlfriends that are not girlfriends that I dated, like friends that are girls that, that, that would just be like, well, no, 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 hold on. Like, don't go. Oh, he asked you to hang out tonight? No, tell him you're busy. Like, uh, you're not, you know, you're not, even though she has nothing to do. And to me, that's just so pointless. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story. Okay. I'll spin you a yarn, Julian. Oh. <laughs> I have, I've never heard this. It sounds like some 80 so year old. That's yeah, what that's old people what, say. Uh, so, it sounds like it. <laughs> yeah. So I was texting with this guy um, back when, this is like maybe after our first date. Mm-hmm. And the first date I thought went really well. He was a little strange, little strange, little strange in a quirky kind of way, which I like. Um, but every time I would send a text message, it would take him between four and six hours to respond. Jesus. I mean, to me, that kind of indicates that you're not interested. Yeah. 100%. And I blew him off. I was like, all right, that's fine. So and I actually confronted him about it, too. Yeah. And what do you say? He, I never even like got a straight answer. He said, there's something that I need to tell you. And we never even made it to the second date. So I don't I don't know what he had to, to tell me. But then he was hitting me up. Over and over again, being very responsive um, when I wasn't interested anymore yeah. in him. Yeah. So I, who I, knows? But I just, right? I, yeah. I look, you know, we, we hear a lot like, oh my God, so sorry. Like, I've been in these situations where I'm texting someone, I'm being responsive, and then she texts, she takes an hour and a half, two hours to answer, and, always, and sometimes she'll take half a day, and it goes, oh my God, so sorry, I've been so busy, blah, blah, blah. First of all, Every time we hang out, your phone's in your hand. So I know exactly. you saw my text. That's so you the first know, thing. So right. You know people's cell phone behavior. Yeah, it's and always there. There's no such thing as too busy. If you are busy, but you're interested in, t- in the person, you will send a text. Hey, I'm busy right now. Thank I am you. about to do something and I will talk to you or I will call you right. when, I, um, when, when, things are, when, when things are done. If, if somebody takes, and this is from, you know, me, I guess now being over 30, uh, this, uh, if, if I see somebody's texting forever to answer, you know, once in a while I get it. Once in a while you look at your phone, like it happens to me where I get a text, I look, I'm at a red light, the light is green, put my phone back in my pocket, genuinely forgot to answer. Right. And that I've happened. done that too. And, and, you know, but if it's a constant thing, I am out of there faster than you could think. I am out. I don't even try. I am just like, I'm out. I'm done. I move on right so away. So if the, if the girl does not respond to you, what, what's your cutoff? Because everybody has a cutoff, I think. Um, you know, I, it, it depends. Like if I have been on a date or two with a person and we've hit it off and she still, take, she still takes forever to answer, that will be my cutoff. I understand when you haven't met the person yet that maybe you've met online, you don't want to give them your priority right you don't want them to be a priority so you're not going to answer right away maybe you'll you'll be looking at your phone you see the message you're doing something you're like i'm I'm answer later so i can understand that but once you are genuinely interested or you've had some type of one or two dates have been good i want to know right now it's like are you interested in going forward or are you not interested in going forward if yeah. you're interested in going forward and you you're you're texting and you're taking forever to answer to me it's not respectful you're not I, being respectful no so me. let me ask you this if if a text goes unanswered, say it takes the person like a half a day and you haven't heard anything back. Do you follow up with another text? Oh uh, yeah. Again, I don't care about double texting. I'll oh, it doesn't matter. So there's to no me, rules. Me, I don't, but then again, again, it has been, sometimes it's received very well. It's received very well that people who don't play games, which there's still some of them out there, but people that do, or that are a little bit more, you know, want to feel like they're wanted, it's not received very well mm-hmm. because you, you, it makes you look needy. I, if somebody double texts me that I'm into, it doesn't make me, it actually makes me more attracted. It means, wow, you really don't care. You're just out here texting okay. and stuff. Okay. You know? So really the rule is it depends on like whether the person is genuinely interested in you. So, because I will tell you this, girls get in their head a lot when it comes to text messages, they will analyze, they will overanalyze. They'll show their friends, they'll screenshot, they'll send their but friends. Girls do that too. Sure. Not but as much, I guess, you know, if, if, I won't go like two unanswered texts. If I have that, I'm out. So and there's nothing you really you can do to answer? bring me back. Like I'm, I think it's kind of disrespectful to go 
a long time without answering a single text message, especially if it's just like a simple like, hey, how are you? Okay, but does that, the question is, does that text, so for example, if I'm like, hey, what are you up to? And then and then you say, oh, uh, just doing this, and then what about you? I'm like, oh, I'm at the supermarket right now doing groceries, whatever. My text doesn't technically require an answer from you, right? So no. if you don't That's answer that, point. I'm not going to take it personally. I will, and if later something, I have something else to tell you, I will text you. Yeah. Right. If, however, is the if the answer hasn't been an, if if they, if I send a question and you don't answer it. Okay. That so, is different. Okay. And now usually the way I do that is I will I will instead of pretending like I don't know you answered it that you didn't answer it I will m like be very sarcastic about it. Okay. Well, you'll call the person out. Yeah. Yeah, I can see I you will. doing that. I will call the person out. Yeah. You know, like if I say something, like uh, how's your day. And I don't, I don't, I don't have an answer. I'll, I'll be something like, damn, wow. You know, you're, you're, you're probably the busiest person <laughs> on earth not to be able to answer this. Like I'll go right away. And as I get older, it gets worse. My, my, uh, my patience is running oh, okay. so thin. Here's what I was going to ask you. So when you send a text back to somebody and yeah. you don't ask a question, there's no like push and pull like okay I, i'm gonna send you a text that requires a response mm -hmm. or that deserves a response if you don't do that does that mean you're not interested no because that's how girls interpret it i'm not even kidding i mean especially if it happens multiple times i mean it depends I, because uh, like i i you know it could be noon and we could be texting and i'm saying something like right now oh i'm about to shoot a podcast cool it doesn't require an answer it doesn't mean i'd when I'm done, I'm not going to call the person and be like, hey, how are you know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It, it's like, that's the problem also with texting is there's so you can, people overanalyze texting and it's just, it is what it is. Sometimes a text doesn't, an, doesn't mean, doesn't require an answer. And also, it, it you can't even that. pick up on tone you can't pick through up a text. Tone. Like no. that's the worst. The one thing I will say though, is people that say I'm such a bad texter this i don't know this to me is bullshit no, I especially think it's all when bullshit. i hear yeah. girls you know sometimes on hinge you have the um, the prompts and it's like i'm really bad at and it's like oh i'm really bad at texting i'm like yeah. you're a girl you are not bad at texting there's not one girl that is bad at and texting. it's 2020 like okay you're bad at texting what do you you can't figure it out like i don't you can't figure out how to send a, a simple message yeah. to somebody no yeah it takes literally two seconds and that's why i don't i call bullshit anytime a guy's like no i was just really busy no, you're not. You're not interested, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, some. Again, if it happens a lot, yes. If it happens once in a while here and there, and they just it happens to forget. Like I've I have forgotten answering a text, and now usually eventually, like, oh my bad, I'm so sorry, I forgot to answer. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's it, yeah, it's not. It's not like, it's not all black and white. Basically, I think it depends on the person. But overall, I feel like if you're out there listening and you not play games, please. Stay the way you are. Just, just, <laughs> just be you. Because, look, our our life is complicated. We have bills to pay, or we have to think of our career. We have to think of so many things. So on top of that, if you have to plan and think too much about dating life, it's not fun. Yeah. You know. I also have one one <laughs> additional question when it comes to texting. Yeah. Okay. When when somebody when you get a text from someone you like, and you respond right away mm -hmm. every time. Or almost every time. Is that a turnoff? To, for a girl to be too available? No. No? Not to me. No. Because it, to me it shows that right now she's not doing anything. She's not ignoring me. So she's talking to me. But every time? Yeah. Still not a turnoff? Not a turnoff. Interesting. If I'm interested. Interesting. And okay. it, it's all, it all depends. Like Again, it all depends on the person. I feel sometimes we think a person is playing games. They're just not interested. Right. And it, it's, it's like games, you know? It, they think, like, if you're dating two or three people at the same time, you're going to be playing games with one because you just don't have the time to answer it or hang yeah. out with all this person. Uh, what about, hold on, but what about dates? So how many times will you ask someone to hang out? Like, let's say they what say... What do you mean? So let's say, let's say you say, hey, uh, are you free tomorrow? I want to grab some, some drinks. And this okay. person's like, oh... Um. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. And then during the day, they're like, "Oh, sorry. Actually, I can't make it tomorrow." All right. So that was one. 
will you will you you know then two three days later <laughs> or a day later you'll be like hey uh what's your plan for tomorrow are you around i'm like no tomorrow i'm super busy uh oh i be yeah no what's no. your how many times do you attempt of my out? threshold is typically one you try once i try once and if the guy's like oh no i'm i'm actually super busy like then i'll say to myself mm-hmm. <laughs> i won't say to him <laughs> i'll say uh you know all right, I'm going to wait for him to then reach out and make plans since he was the one who was busy. He knows that I want to see him. So now the ball's in his court. Well, okay, do you say that? Say, okay, you seem busy. You seem busy. So just let me know when you are not. Uh, sometimes I'll say that. Yeah. Typically, though, I have to be honest, Julian. Like, I won't even be the one to initiate plans. Like, no, I, I mean, will I wait for the guy to initiate. Especially at, at, at first, I think that's fair. Yeah, but I'm eventually, not down the line, if you've been dating for a little bit, I think it's as a guy, it's nice for the girl to initiate. Yeah, but that's if you've been dating for a little bit. But like on the first or second oh, yeah. date, I agree. I would say it's, I, dude, it's up to the guy to make plans. I'm sorry. No, I, I'm yeah, still, okay. I that's still fine. believe in some th- small, thin thread of traditionalism yeah no no i agree i um i'll i'll ini- i'll try to hang out okay but so what's two, your what's your threshold two to three times two to three times but two to three times then if if the you're third, pretty persistent if i like the girl and i really want to hang out i'll try if yeah. she turns me down or is too busy two to three times now <laughs> now 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 and that could see it as a game but now i'm, I'm not gonna make myself available do you know that. just as a sidebar do you know that i was supposed to go on a date with a guy who canceled on our first date which what would have been our first date because he had his fantasy football draft that evening so is that important is that like a, a big thing for a dude a know. fantasy football draft? Do you do a fantasy football? I Anything? I don't know because I'm not from here. Oh, this is an American thing. It doesn't matter, dude. It is. It is an American thing. No, it thing. doesn't matter. Yeah, it is. You can, you've li- how long have you lived in this I country, have, Julian? Listen, I still barely understand the rule the, <laughs> so, the rule of football. Of football. For me, barely football is... Barely understands the rules of the football. I even have a hard time saying it. <laughs> um, for me, football is soccer, first of all. And... and Okay, but no, that's but not I, the point. I, I you know, know what the some point guys is. are doing fantasy football. I don't even know what the point of this the game is. I don't know, I, understand what the point of this game is either. I, I know it's a big thing. I think it's stupid. And I mean, look, I, I, if the only way I could relate it is if there was a draft for us to be in, you know, in a Call of Duty teams, and this is the only night I can be, I can pick my then team. Then you who I'm would gonna pick be that over going on a date with a, a pretty girl. Yeah, I just called myself pretty. Yeah, but. You know I, what I I'm would saying? because because I could have a drink with you tomorrow, but that's a one night only to to, to pick the boys. I'm sorry, you know. F- <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. You but can't. I, I don't know. No, I, don't know I think that's so rude. Is. I thought that was so rude, and I was I was done. I was just done. I mean, I don't know. It's um, that's just. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, okay. Actually, uh, I I do I have like <laughs> a, a story where, um. Like at some at some point I was working out outside and um, this girl came up to me to give me her number. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I thought you were really cute. I was like, oh, so I respected that. 100%. Yeah, that's, I was like, that's oh, hell yeah, take, that's, brave. that's ballsy and, yeah. and I love it. And it means, you know, sure. and then I Confident. tried. Yeah. And so then I was like, you know, she's pretty cute. So I was like, I'm, I'm going to try to hang out. And, um, um, you know, I try to hang out once and it didn't work out. And then sometimes she would hit me up at like 10 p.m. like what are you up to tonight? And I'd say, oh, I'm just doing this. How about you? And then she wouldn't answer me until like the next day at noon. I don't get that. You know? I don't get that. I don't, I don't understand that. No, especially she, if she so, was the one who approached you. Yeah, like she was the exactly. one who was interested. So then she did, she did uh, that once and then she did that twice. And then one day I was working. So she was like, oh, I'm going to stop by where you work. I'm like, all right, cool. Didn't stop by. And, and me, me, I'm, I'm, I'm very reliable. So it's like, if you tell me you're going to stop by, I'm expecting you at some yep. point. So eventually it's like one I'm like, are you stopping by? No answer. And tell me, oh no, sorry. We're not talking about. So then one finally, one final night, she asked me to hang out. And at this point I was like, I literally said, nah, <laughs> I was like, nah, I was oh, like, brutal. nah, I think, well, whatever. I said, what did she expect you to do? No, but I was super honest. I'm like, I think you and I see this very differently yeah you know you're you're i told her you're very flaky and not the same yeah. she's she not like it and then she sent me apologize a text again i haven't seen her since since that first day of the thing so i'm like i'm not gonna you know it's like i one try thing, once yeah. to try to get to know you because also the point to me if you meet somebody online 
I want to be proactive about meeting because there is sometimes you get a vibe of a text and when you meet in person, it's very different. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no, actually, I'm not <laughs> vibing with this person at all. Right. Of course. So Some I people are better on text than, than in person. And, and I don't want to spend 10 days texting somebody to then meet them in person to be like, fuck, no, we no. don't have any. No. So, so Waste if of we, time. You know, we, we got to meet up fairly soon-ish. Which brings me to my next point. Oh. Well, and I convenient. and by the way, one thing I do appreciate about you a lot is that you don't play games. I don't. Like you are very straightforward. Yeah. S- sometimes to a fault. But <sighs> I could see that. That's like on a friendship level. That's like I can I I can see people appreciating that like on a romantic level for well, sure. That's how you have to be. And on the friendship side, like you know you can ask me for my opinion I about will give anything. It to you I, know. It, I know. It won't be sugar coated unfortunately. Yeah. It won't be very So getting back to my point sometimes especially like on dating apps sometimes we will act like we're interested even though we're not interested yeah uh and by that i mean and i think it has something to do with maybe self validation or positive reinforcement or feeding the ego Mm -hmm. um but sometimes i'll see people on dating apps they'll they'll want to make plans or they'll check in. Hey, how's it going? How are you today? You know, whatever it is, texting. And then they won't follow up. Yeah. And I, and I think it's just, I don't know what the end game is. I don't think there is an end game. I don't think the end game is to certainly to meet up. Have you noticed that you get more technically, when I was on the dating app, I would get more matches on Sunday nights. No, I never know. Yeah, that's when because loneliness people are bored. kicked in. <laughs> Because it's like Sunday, had like a rough weekend. They, they had a weekend, yeah. and like I have nobody to cuddle. Yep. Let me go on there, and yeah. then the week starts, and you're no longer a priority. Exactly. And it's just like, so well, people get busy. They have jobs. They have I lives. Think I, you know, to the point that you're saying, like people initiating, saying hi, what's up, and then hey, how's your day going, and then never answering. Yeah. I think that is the problem of dating app, which we we will eventually do an episode about this. But it's that uh, dating app gives you the illusion that you have endless options, so you don't even take the time to, to talk to this one you just match with because you have other people that you match with. And then you think they're probably a, a better and they're better and they're better. And then once in a while you meet somebody who's down to actually connect, but you're out here being busy thinking, oh, there's, yeah. there's all these possible matches too. Have you, I think, do they call that breadcrumbing where you are, you act like you're interested, but you're not interested. Have uh, you done that I, before where I you act know. like you're interested and have no intention of meeting no. up? No, usually I am interested. And like if I've had those behavior of, of texting a bit through the app and then stopping answering, it's because I was generally interested and then yeah. it either took too long for us to meet up or within that time frame of us texting, I match with somebody that I'm more interested in. So then I just And then move you just on. like ghost on that person and yeah. like move move it. Yeah, move honestly, I, that's why I got off of this uh, these apps. It's just, it's... True. There's no point. There's no point. That's that's kind of why I got off of him too, because there's no point. <laughs> bless you. Oh, bless your you. soul. Thank you. Your soul does need blessing, actually. Does um, it? <laughs> I think I just nodded all over the place. <laughs> okay, but the games don't end when you're interested. The games continue. <laughs> I can see some no! sweat here. <laughs> I'm seeing a tiny little bit no! of armpit sweat. What do I do? do Luckily, I people my shirt? can't see it when they're listening. But if Should you're I looking, cha- no. If you're YouTube, looking, then you okay. Well, then I have just to change zoom my shirt in right now and pause just it. Look Julian at this. says it. No, pause just pause it. I have to go and change. You I have, have to change. We don't see it like the way it you do it. It doesn't matter. Right now. I I can't even focus right now. <laughs> just pause it and I'll change. It's like the please, Amazon forest. Down please there. be a good friend. <laughs> what is for you yeah. the biggest turnoff? When it comes to texting, predating, games. What is the Ooh. one thing where you're like, ah, oh, this person's doing this? Fuck that. Oh, God. That's a good question. I would say when they're too responsive. Huh. Yeah. When it's like, or when they text you novels and you're like, do you not have anything better to do right yeah. now with your life than to just text me all the time? And that I don't make any kind of judgment. <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> but yeah, I just do. kind of... <laughs> I just kind of feel like it's too much and then it requires and then then it like it kind of raises the bar a little bit where you now feel like if you're not texting novels back does that does that indicate to him that you're not interested and it's just it's like this this weird I don't it makes me uncomfortable I feel like this is where women and men are two very different breeds (laughs) 
Because yes, guys will, you know, talk about stuff and we'll get in their head, but we're so much simpler. Yeah. We really, you know, we're very simple. And sometimes we'll like, it's like, I don't like the, sometimes an answer just requires a yes. And we'll just answer yes. And that doesn't mean that we're not interested. It's not because we says, yes, I would love that actually. And it sounds great because blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, you know, do you, do you like, do you like paprika? And yes. That- <laughs> I don't need to say, yeah, I love paprika Good because question. it reminds me of my, you know, <laughs> Just of all the, of of all all the, the hypothetical questions that you could have offered. You but it's just that? like, you know what I mean? And I feel like I, I agree with you that some girls will will read into a message or a, a way to text that isn't accurate. And then they will act on that. And then the guy will be like, what the fuck? And then yeah. it just downhill from there. What about when you're arguing? Because I think those are some of the best quality games that you can find is when you're in an argument with a significant other. Again, I am. What the, do you got? What are your games? Let's hear it. I'm the I wrong know person to ask. Some. I'm the wrong person to ask. If I'm actually in a serious argument about something that I'm that I'm passionate about, I will call you. Okay. We'll talk you'll about call. it on the phone. I right, will call sure. or, or I will wait. Or you'll in see person. them in person. Yeah. But I like to play. <laughs> I like to play the games a little bit when I when I'm upset with with my partner. So I I am the queen of silent treatment. Okay. If I'm pissed, you will absolutely see a whole change in my demeanor. By I being get silent? Cold. I get cold so fast. You're basically saying... I go from like warm and loving Jen <laughs> no, to... No, you're basically saying, if I am mad, you will know it. And yeah. I'm going to say hi uh, I how s- because I won't say anything. I won't say anything. <laughs> Okay, so that's how it, are you, how am I supposed to know you're mad if you're not saying anything? That's how you know is when I'm not talking to you. Okay, when I'm and then you're like and then you say what's wrong? And no. this is all about text. No, everything's or in great. Person? Everything's great, Julian. It's fine. It's fine. Don't oh. worry about it. Don't worry about it. Are we and about then, over text or in person? This is in person. This okay. is in person. You asked me over text, and now you're talking about in person. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about in person. Oh, okay. I'm switched. Um, yeah, and 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 the higher the pitch of my voice, the more trouble you're in. But so how is that affiliated to games? Because that's a game that people play. They don't want to say exactly how they feel. They don't want to communicate directly and say exactly why they're upset. So they won't say anything at all. And they'll wait for you to guess why they're upset. Well, that's a luck. game. Well, good luck. That's the biggest game of all. You've never heard the silent treatment. Of course you have. No, of course. Yeah. But I'll, the Expecting- way I deal with it is, all right, you don't want to talk about it? All right, cool. So how do, you, how do you deal with it? I'll just say, I'm trying to talk to you about it. If you don't want to talk about it, then okay. And that's and then, it? And then you'll... Well, then and then usually it goes like, well, it's funny that you say that because... and Because then, then I'll tell you what. If you, right. If you, if you say, I, I don't... Fine, fine. You're going to give me the silent treatment, then I won't follow up. And I'm not going to ask you what the problem is if you're not going to tell me. That makes it worse. I will say that sometimes in a... A, I could say it's a little toxic trait, but sometimes if I feel like the person is serious about so- an argument, like yeah. they're serious over text about something that are, you know, they're upset about and I don't think it's a big deal, I might answer with a little gif and <laughs> that never, never works Actually, in I my favor No, I think it's kind of disarming. It depends because think, I've had one where somebody says, are you fucking serious? This is what you're sending? And I'd be like, ah. And then, and then you send another gift, like, <laughs> and that's it, you know? Read the room, Julian. Read yeah. the room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that, and then let me, let me tell you something else. The games continue after the breakup. At least for me, they continue. Um, have you ever tried to, have you ever done anything that you think would make an ex jealous? Nope. Well, he's just, uh, aren't you just an angel in disguise, you, no. Julian? You know why? Aren't you just heaven You know sent? why? Why? Because, so you're going to say what? You post a picture with your new person? Yeah, there, well, I... Yeah. <laughs> Classic. You know what's worse than knowing? Not knowing. Yeah, but if they, if they... No. If, no, no, if I, agree, I disagree knowing with that. I disagree with that. Is the worse. I disagree with that because not knowing if it's like out of sight, out of mind, they're not looking at it. But they're no. not seeing like but they're the, thinking this new about person. it before bedtime and when you don't know what the other person's doing your mind wanders in dark fucking places if you know 
you can put a face on the person and it's much easier for you to to f- have a feeling of you know what your ex is doing than when you don't know what your ex is doing. Like, picture you being with someone who's like, hey, I'm heading out and you're not knowing where they're going. It's going to make you fucking make you go crazy. I disagree. I, I, I disagree with that. I feel like if, if a guy is posting, if my ex is posting a picture with his new girl and this all, and by the way, this all depends on how much the ex cares. Like if I, if I don't care about an ex and I see that he posted a picture with a new girl, I'm like, good for you. I'm glad you're happy again. Yeah, but that's not a game. That, that's my, my that's whole point. That's a game it's, that that guy's playing to get, to get, me to get back at you. How do you know? How do you know he's not just in love with his new girl <laughs> no, and that he just wants to post that's picture always, with his girl? Listen, that's always a possibility. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> what you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'm with my new girl. I'm perfectly happy. This is a picture of my new girlfriend. How how can you assume that he's playing a game to try to make you jealous? You can't assume that's, that. But that's, I'm that's, I'm talking about that person's motivation. I'm talking about if they do want to make the, their ex jealous. So that's what you would do. Then. I have a number of ways and means. Okay. So, so, so you're I, saying if, yeah, if, sometimes I'll post a picture, uh, with an ex just to make the other person jealous. Okay. I've done that before. I've been petty like that. There have been other, other cases that I've seen of my girlfriends who will post like these dark quotes. Oh my God. <laughs> like, yeah. If he wasn't, if he, oh, if he didn't so love funny. you at your worst, he'll never love you at your best. You know, whatever yeah, it is. That's the, Do you think that this guy is going to look at that and be like, oh, my God, I made a huge mistake? Nobody cares. Yeah, no, nobody Sally, cares. Sally, I'm going to call Actually, you up right what now. Actually, when you say it makes me think, I remember a few years ago, I was in Lyon, and um, I remember I was having coffee with a buddy and this girl, and this girl was like, can I use you for something? And I was like, what? She's like, my ex is oh, like I'm really like sneaky. she's like you know that's it's like I'm, I'm in bad terms with my ex and he's an asshole. It's like can I we just do a story? Can I can I can I can you be in my story? And I was like so she sat on my lap, took a took a picture, put in story, and then whatever captioned the story, and she did that for her ex. And I thought it was so fucking petty, but there have been know. times when I've almost used you for the same reason. You should know that. Maybe I should start charging. <laughs> So actually, so no, you know what? I had um, I I have a I have a story about that where okay, um, um when I was wor- when I was working in Montreal, I used to um I used to work at this very popular supper club. I was as a bartender, and my ex at a time, um, who you know I I've done I've done her wrong, um, but she wanted I, you know she was working in another restaurant and that they were serving Jamie Fox that okay. night. And then of all, it was Thursday night. I have all the places to go out in Montreal. She decided to go out with Jamie Foxx. And where did she take him? Where I worked. The same place where he worked. Uh, you know, and everybody told me, oh my God, she's with Jamie Foxx, blah, blah, blah. And that honestly fucked me up. It made me super fucking jealous. And I was super sad throughout the shift. And I was working and I was trying to focus on this. Um, but ultimately... It just made me. It just made me get over her faster because that's not the type of person that I want. Yeah, you don't you know want someone I mean? who's gonna who's you know gonna stoop that. that low. I guess. So, so, the games, in my opinion, aren't for people that kind of think a little bit. Aren't they? Don't work. Yeah. In my opinion, it doesn't. Like if 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 I were if I dated you for a while and now I see that you're posting something and and it's clear it's an attempt to make me jealous you're just making me you're just comforting comforting me comforting me <laughs> I'm having oh, a hard yeah? time you're just comforting me you? today you're just comforting me in saying well it's a good thing it's over because this is not what I wanted out of a girl okay you know I understand mean? that yeah 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 I mean you don't want right okay and and people can in general see right through that I actually when when that's done to me and I see like clearly like this guy is trying to <laughs> do something to get back at me I just laugh about it because it's over you know what I mean like it, yeah, it's, but you, there's, you say you do it too I've done it too for sure like in the thirst trap photos that you'll post sometimes like you know I, I'll I would post shots of me in like a bathing suit you know, whatever, um, hoping that person sees Mm -hmm. and just uh, regrets a little bit, but odds are, listen, it's over. Like it ended for a reason. It's, there's no going back from it. I have had, so one of my ex-boyfriends who I'm very good friends with to this day, um, he, right before, right before we broke up, 
he was like, you're going to break up with me or we're going to break up and you watch. He's like, I'm going to get in sick shape. Uh (laughs) And do you know that a few months after we broke up, I saw this guy in People magazine and he had a six pack abs floating on a pool and with with a koozie in his hand. I'm like, (laughs) and it all came to life like that. Like so revenge body status. I mean, he and he worked on his body for freaking weeks. Was that a game to prepare for this moment? Yes. I look at that as a game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I don't agree. I don't agree that it's a game. I mean, he, he just, you know, broke up out of relationships. Like I need to get myself into shape and, uh, you know, who broke up with who? I broke up with him. So then he could probably like, I'm going to make her regret it a little bit. That's a game. Sure. <laughs> sure. Now, now. Okay. Sure. Okay. But okay. we also got in sick shape. It's so it could also, there's part so of it. That's also him. for yeah, him. Exactly. Go get yourself a young hot chick. Yeah. Look, I think overall, everybody can play games. I also feel like games happen at a younger age. In yeah. my opinion, as you get a bit older, you kind of, you know, most people are kind of like, I don't have time for this. Mm-mm. I generally think that every single game is toxic. Yeah, I agree. Um, and actually, you know, with the person I am dating now, there hasn't been one game. Right. And I was very honest right up front. I was just like, I don't play games, just warning you. And now that's when we hang out in person. I'm like, I'm just going to warn you. I have no shame in double texting. I have no shame in blah, blah. I, you know, I'm have super, 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 uh, like there's no games. And she responded very well to it. And she said to her either. And she hasn't been playing games. And because of that, things are going well. Good. So I'm just like, I, I, f- anybody out there who's listening, who says games, no, you need to play games. You are wrong. This yeah. is the point that I will make out of this. It is it is a waste of time, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, but you have to pick someone who... And you have to have a mutual understanding. You have to pick somebody who do- also doesn't play games because, I don't know, it's almost like if you're in it, how do you know that, that you're playing it? You know, if, if somebody's playing games with you, then you kind of have to do it right back or just cut the cord and yeah. say, I'm not into this. Um, here's how I communicate and here's how I live. And if that doesn't gel with you, then... We'll just keep it that's moving. That's it. Just move it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, uh, and uh, that's, I think, also, in a way, games are helpful in for you as a person to figure out if the person you're interested in is the right fit. Because if you're the type that doesn't play game, but you can f- see that they're taking forever to answer, you could see that they're not, because we see it, that they're, that they're acting a certain way, then just, to me, it's a, it would be, I would take that as an indicator that, nah, we're not a good match. Right. Right. And then if... Maybe you are into games and there are two then. You guys are a great match and please keep dating each other and don't come into our lives. That's right. You know. Uh, what about question of the audience? So today, which one are we doing? Oh, my phone's about to die. So I'm going to leave that. Up. Well, actually, let me see. Hold no, on. No. Hold on. Was, it a, was it a DM or was yeah, it? Yeah, it was a DM. It was a DM on the X Appeal podcast. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. It was something. We picked someone of friendship, guys and girls. So, okay, so we're answering. Can you, can you pronounce this person's name? Shema underscore 130. Okay. Shema, she's French. Salut, Shema. Uh, je suis très content que tu nous écoutes. All right, that's great. Um, um, so and, here's her question. And I think, okay, I think we both agree. We read this and we're like, we should make an actual podcast out of this. Yeah, we will. But we will. Let's, we'll, let, we'll dip into it right now. And it's, do we believe in friendship? Between men and women. Between men and women or... Is there always one in that has feelings? Ooh, God, that's a good that's question. That's a really, really good question. That's a really good question. Wow. Okay. Do you believe in uh, <sighs> friendship? I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I have... Because I don't have very many friend, male friends outside of work. Okay. My work guy friends, you know, you're with them like eight hours a day, so they become friends, but you don't really share any kind of experiences outside okay. of work. Um, I don't know. I mean, like you are one of the only guy, f- straight guy friends I have, and we have hooked up. That's so it. So clearly there were some feelings at some point. And that is one of the points. I think friendship, guy and girl, can be achieved <laughs> post-sex. No. If the sexual if, if there the is any type of sexual gone? tension is gone, the friendship can be 
absolutely amazing. Yeah. However, I genuinely have friends that are girls that I have absolutely no sexual desire with of. And I have one girl from Montreal. She was the homie. And at the time she was single and I was single. I was living here. She came to visit me. Kim, if you're listening, she came to visit me. I was living in this tiny apartment and we went out one night and we were hammered. Yeah. And we were sharing the bed. We sure we sh- were sharing the bed back to back. Nothing happened. Nothing. And if there's something that Is will happen. Is she an attractive happen, girl? No, she's very pretty. She's a very pretty girl. Is she attracted girl. to you though? Do you? I mean, I don't know. See, that's the thing. And that's the thing. But I have experienced friendship. You know, and now Kim is married and her husband is absolutely amazing and we're, yeah. we're all friends. Oh, but okay. But back then. Back then, I don't know. So I, w- I, I, I would say in the sense of the way she says it, my, 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 um, <laughs> my theory is that it's friendship by default in the sense of one person wants more, but the partner isn't interested. So they just settle for friendship. I would agree. And I you guarantee there. you that a lot I would of girls, agree with you there. a lot of girls, because I've had that discussion with so many girls, and all the girls are like, no, that's not true. I have a ton of guy friends that I'm friends, that I'm friends with. And I was like, text them tonight, and ask them, hey, I'm feeling lonely. I want you to come oh, over. Oh, okay. Well, that's we'll a very see. provocative we'll text. S- we'll see if it's your friend. I am feeling lonely. Can you come over and keep me company? That is an invitation. No, can you come over and keep me company? Maybe. Talk, or even if you say, hey, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, you know, I'd love to, I don't know, like I've been thinking, even say I've been thinking about you differently, I think we should hook up. Let's see how then, if they're your friend, I would say, what the fuck is wrong with you? No. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I mean, and <laughs> it's dumb, like if one of my boys texts me tonight and say, yo, <laughs> I'm I'm horny. Can you come over? I'm lonely. I'm be like, bro, shut the fuck I mean, up. Of no, of course, yeah, because yeah, but it's you're friendship. heterosexual. Yeah, but still, friendship is friendship. No, it's, uh, it's the same feeling of friendship. I mean, yeah, I just I can't think of a single I can't think of a single guy friend that I would feel comfortable hanging out just one on one. Yeah, I can't think of a single one. Why? Because are you into it, or you think they would be into it? I mean, if. I I just <laughs> I guess I just haven't made it my business to have close friends of the opposite sex who aren't gay. Okay. Because I don't know at one point or another like there's been some sort of attraction or d- disappointment or you know feeling like ooh this guy like might like me in a in a non friendly kind of way. Mm-hmm. Um, so you you put the brakes on. But okay. So I don't know. That's a really that's a really really good question. So right now, if you have to pick an answer, yes or no, what do you say? I would say no. You don't believe in friendship. I well, with the, with the caveat of two singles, of, with the caveat of if you've if you've no. been in, intimate, then yes, you can be friends. Yes, okay. without that sexual whatever. No, so okay, I, th- I think that's that's a good point too. Is like, what's the situation? Because you could be friends with a married woman who's deeply in love with her husband. You know, what I mean, yeah. I'm friends with a girl that I've that I met out and and. Um, she's the homie. And then I found out after she's married and I met her husband and her husband's dope too. So mm-hmm. I'd say two single <laughs> friends that haven't hooked up. Do you think they could be a guy and a girl? Do you think they could be friends? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know no, because it's I've not about never knowing. Do you think yes or no? It's just what, what's your opinion? Yeah, potentially. Yeah. So you think you, you believe in friendship? Yeah. After everything I just said, you still believe in friendship. I just don't know, Julie. I don't know. That's a really good question. I don't know. To, uh, based, if you're asking me based on my experience, no, no, no. Okay. Like all the okay. So for example, sorry, all of the um, guy friends that I can say, like s- straight guy friends, I have either through work mm-hmm. or I know them because they're either related or uh, married to a, a friend. Okay. So it's by periphery, by proxy, I mean, by periphery. Yeah, sure, but it's still, still, if you're one of your work coworkers, they see on work one night. You know, if you, t- I'm sure if you text Mike from work, we'll be like, "Hey, what are you up to tonight, Mike?" And he's like, "Oh, just chill." I was like, "You want to come over? And maybe you know, hang out." Mm-mm. Then that's an invitation to your vagina. I'm sorry, it is. It get, yes, but then yeah. if he's your friend, he would say no. <laughs> so you don't think too like I, a guy and a girl can be friends. 
The so problem, you don't. That's I <laughs> don't. But the problem is like I don't believe in it. But the problem is I have experienced it with people <laughs> I haven't slept with. So that's the problem. My mind is telling me something, but uh, my life experience is different. So I my answer is no. Shema, I do not believe in pure platonic friend friend between a guy and a girl however i have experienced it and i know it can happen but i don't believe it it makes no sense but that's just that's just that's just what it is. yeah i think that's the answer you know because that, also that who it, am i to think this girl that i'm i consider a homie didn't want more with me i don't know you don't know exactly and you probably won't know because she probably you you probably gave off friendship vibes exactly to her and she didn't want to cross that line yep but if i were to text her and be like hey i've been seeing thinking about you differently i'd love to go on a date Let's see what, you know, would she say yes? I don't know. If, for example, if we were just always just friends, I don't know if I could do that. Like, I would probably want to, like, hook up with you because of the way you look. And you know what I mean? Fair. I mean, I'll, you know what, I'll take that as a compliment. And You definitely turn. should. Yeah. But being that we've already done that, it's like. It's easier. Cool. Yeah, I agree. So, so, I th- so then, because, you, you know, a lot of people would say. How can you be friends with your ex? That's so weird. That's how, the whole point of how, this podcast. Yeah. How do you know? Like, no, but you know, sometimes like people feel weird because they're friends with their exes and it's kind of like, well, if you think about it, they've already done it. They know they've it's not been working. They've done so, that. Exactly. And they've either made the decision to be friends maybe. or it's ended in like, you know, been there, done that. Don't want to go back. Yeah. Um, I'm friends with many of my exes. Yeah. And some of them, you also post pictures of your new boyfriend. Just pissed him off. Nope. That's uh that's what we've nope. learned today. I don't do that. That Jen play games and I don't. 